tilapia, often dubbed as the aquatic chicken due to its widespread availability and versatility, holds significant importance in the aquaculture sector of the Philippines. As one of the most commonly farmed fish species in the country, tilapia plays a pivotal role in meeting the growing demand for seafood protein while also contributing to the economic development and the food security initiative. Renowned for its adaptability to various environmental conditions and relatively low production cost, tilapia cultivation has become a cornerstone of Philippine aquaculture, empowering local communities and driving sustainable development efforts. In fish anatomy terms, dorsal, ventral, anterior, and posterior are used to describe different orientations or positions on the body. Dorsal this refers to the upper side or the back of the fish, the dorsal fin for example. Ventral. This term describes the lower side or belly of the fish. The pelvic and the anal fins are typically located on the ventral side. Anterior. This refers to the front or the head of the fish. The mouth, eyes, and the gills are located on the anterior part of the fish. Posterior. This term describes the rear end or tail of the fish. The caudal fin, which is the main tail fin, is located on the posterior end of the fish. The external genitalia of male and female tilapia fish exhibit distinct differences, reflecting their respective reproductive roles. The genital papilla of female tilapia is relatively large and prominent compared to males. It appears as a fleshy protrusion located ventrally just posterior to the anus. In contrast to females, the genital papilla of male tilapia is smaller and less prominent. It is located ventrally just anterior to the anus. The movement of a fish mouth can vary depending on the species and its feeding habits. The way the mandible and the maxilla move as the fish opens and closes its mouth might change. Fish possesses maxilla which remains fixed as the mouth opens and closes. The maxilla is immovable and does not have much independent movement on its own. The fish mandible can move forward and downward to open its mouth, enabling it to swallow water or to catch prey. The coloration and patterns of tilapia plays a role in camouflage, communication, and mate attraction. Eyes provides vision for locating prey avoiding predators and navigating the environment. Tilapia have well-developed eyes adapted for both diurnal and nocturnal visions. Mouth, used for feeding by capturing and processing food items, varies in shape and sizes depending on the feeding habits of the tilapia species. Operculum is a bony flap covering the gills of the fish. It plays a crucial role in respiration by protecting the delicate gill filaments and regulating water flow over the gills. It helps maintain proper oxygen levels within the fish's body, ensuring efficient gas exchange for survival. Pectoral fins are located on the side of the fish, behind the gills, and just below the operculum. They play a crucial role in maneuvering, balancing, and controlling the fish's direction of movement. Pelvic fin. These fins are located on the ventral side of the fish, just below the pectoral fins and typically closer to the tail, primarily involved in stability, steering, and sometimes in reproductive behaviors. Dorsal and anal fins. The dorsal fin, located on the fish back, provides stability and balance to the fish while swimming helps to prevent rolling or tipping from side to side. Anal fin is located on the ventral side of the fish, near to the posterior end of the body and just anterior to the tail fin, like the dorsal fin. The anal fin contributes to the stability and balance during swimming, helping to maintain the fish's trajectory and orientation. Caudal fin. At the rear end of the fish, we find the caudal fin also known as the tail fin. This powerful fin propels the tilapia forward through the water with the precision and speed, essential for evading predators and catching prey.
When dissecting a tilapia fish and removing the gills, it is important to carefully preserve the integrity of the specimen and ensure a thorough examination of the gill structure. Identify the operculum, which is a bony covering protecting the gills. It is located on either side of the head just behind the eye of the fish. Use a scissor to carefully make a cut along the edge of the operculum. Gently lift the cut edge of the operculum using forceps or a probe to expose the gill beneath. Once the operculum is open, observe the gill arches and filaments. Use dissecting scissors, forceps, or hand to carefully detach the gills from the gill arches. Start at the posterior end of the gill arches and work towards the anterior end, taking care to avoid damaging the delicate structure. Cut any connective tissues or ligaments holding the gills in place, ensuring that they are fully detached from the gill arches. Once removed, examine the gills closely for any signs of damage, parasites, or abnormalities. Tilapia, like other fish, relies on its gills for respiration, which involves the exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. Gill arch is the skeletal framework that supports the gills. It provides attachment points for the gill filaments and other gill components. Gill rakers, a bony or cartilaginous projection found along the inner surface of the gill arches. Their primary function is to filter out particles suspended in water such as debris, plankton, and other organic matter. Gill filaments are thin, finger-like structure arranged in rows on the gill arches. They provide a large surface area for exchange of gases between the fish's blood and the surrounding water. Each gill filament is covered with a numerous gill lamellae which are thin leaf-like structure. These lamellae further increases the surface area available for gas exchange. Dissecting a tilapia can provide a valuable insight into its anatomy, including the structure and function of various organs. Begin making an incision along the dorsal side of the fish, no higher than the lateral line. Most of the organs reside in the ventral half of the fish's body. Be careful not to cut too deeply you might destroy some of the internal organs. The second incision should begin on the ventral surface just forward of the anus. When you reach the gills, cut upwards behind the gills. The next incision is made from the anus, cut upward to the first incision. Very carefully, lift away the cut section of the body wall. Use your scissors to remove any membranes that adhere to the body wall. Gills. It extracts oxygen from the water and expels carbon dioxide during respiration. Heart. Pumps oxygen-rich blood from the gills to the body and returns the oxygenated blood to the gills for oxygenation. Liver. Performs various metabolic functions, including the synthesis of proteins, storage of glycogen, and metabolism of fats and carbohydrates. It also plays a crucial role in detoxifying harmful substances such as metabolic waste, products, and other environmental toxins from the blood. Gallbladder plays a crucial role in the digestive process by storing and concentrating bile, a digestive fluid produced by the liver. Stomach receives and partially digests food before it enters the intestine. Intestines absorb nutrients from the digested food for energy and growth. Spleen is a lymphoid organ involved in immune function and blood filtration. Swim bladder The swim bladder is also known as the air bladder or the gas bladder is a gas-filled organ located in the abdominal cavity of a fish. It primarily serves to control buoyancy and maintain the fish's position in the water column. Reproductive organ Gonads 
Testes in males ovaries in females. Produces gametes like sperm and egg for reproduction.